A missing Sunbury woman is located overseas. Today is Friday, August 23rd, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Sunny today, a high near 80. The man who stabbed an Allenwood federal corrections officer in the eye will be heading to trial. A federal judge has denied a motion to dismiss the indictment of Abdul Rahman al Banasawe. His attorney had asked for the dismissals under the violation of the Speedy Trial Act. Banasawe, who was born in Kuwait, has ties to terrorist organizations. He's serving a 40-year sentence for plotting on behalf of ISIS to blow up the subway system in New York. In December of 2020, he allegedly stabbed Dale Franke Jr. in the eye with a shank, causing Franke to lose sight in his right eye. The Northumberland County DA has asked a judge to ban the public from hearings tied to the high-profile August 15th murder near the courthouse. Nasir Robinson of Sunbury and Carnell Shelbourne of Nescapec were both charged with murder and conspiracy to commit murder in relation to the fatal shooting of 20-year-old Devon Creel. The missing woman from Sunbury was found safe in India on Thursday morning. 20-year-old Rukibin Brajapati had left Sunbury Tuesday morning without telling family members of her plans and was reported missing that day. A lawsuit over a state trooper fatally shooting a Bradford County teenage boy has been dropped. Penn Live reports Rodney Faust told the court he was voluntarily dismissing the lawsuit filed after his son Hunter Faust was shot and killed. In 2023, the 15-year-old from Wyalusing reportedly pointed a handgun at a state trooper after police were dispatched to investigate a threat of violence. Meanwhile, a counterclaim was filed by one of the three trooper defendants. That trooper claimed the boy's death could have been avoided if the father complied with the law regarding guns. Rodney Faust was not permitted to possess firearms because of a felony burglary conviction. 43-year-old Karen Mesa of Renovo is going to state prison for multiple DUIs. She was handed a term of 96 months in state prison with parole eligibility after the first 18 months served. In the first instance, she had driven to the courthouse while under the influence with a child in the car. In the second DUI arrest, she was visibly under the influence when she picked up her child at the Renovo Elementary. According to a press release, Clinton County Judge Michael Salisbury found the county jail was not sufficient in Mace's situation as he believed she was clearly a substantial risk to reoffend. Bucknell University is preparing to settle a lawsuit related to remote instruction during the pandemic. The class action lawsuit claimed the students did not get the full benefit of the tuition when the campuses were closed. According to Penn Live, up to 3,500 students who paid tuition and fees for the 2020 spring semester could share in the $1.1 million settlement. Penn State's Pummel Horse Guy has been elevated to celebrity status following his performance at the Summer Olympics in Paris. It's reported engineering graduate Stephen Ned Rostick will compete in the upcoming season of Dancing with the Stars. Ned Rostick picked up two bronze medals in Paris helping the American men's gymnastics team earn its first Olympic medal in 16 years. And the search continues for the alligator seen in Lake Erie this month. Suspected gator footprints were found in the sand in Erie, but the waves made it difficult for officials to track it. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.